do it to me. Hey YouTube, it's me again to give you another show and tell of this hair that I'm wearing. And believe it or not, it is a wig. Not only is it a wig, it's a synthetic wig. And so just stay tuned so you can hear my review of my first wig. New wave. New wig. So everybody, this is a full wig um, with bangs. So there's no scalp, there's no lace, it's nothing, none of that. This was a wig that I kind of bought on a short term, um, kind of like just impulsive buy. Um, I am looking to make a transition completely into full wigs and specifically full lace, lace front wigs, but I did want to kind of test and see how I like wearing wigs um, because essentially it is like just wearing a cap. Um, so I wanted to just buy a wig to see if I can even like the idea of being in a full cap 24-7 and um, the idea of taking it on and off. So I went to my local beauty supply. I bought an equal wig. This is the Viera style. As you see, it has a full bang. Um, there's nothing in the center. And it's, this is a one, which is jet black. And I would say it's about maybe somewhere between 16 and 20 inches long. Um, so with the wig came um, typical care instructions, which kind of just tells you um, the washing and the styling of a synthetic wig. Most synthetic wigs you can't curl. However, this one says you can use up to um, anywhere between 380 and 400 degrees Fahrenheit um, on this hair. So I did kind of attempt to curl it and it doesn't really curl well. It does, it did come straight. Um, when I took it out the box or even when I seen it in the store, it was a bone straight unit and I thought I could just put some curls in it to add some fullness to it and the curls didn't really last. Um, nor did it really take well and I didn't want to put too much heat on it because I was scared it was going to burn so I kind of stayed away from that. Um, but it did curl it a little bit. Um, for the most part I like it because as it is being synthetic it does feel it's very soft and it does kind of look natural. However, I'm not a natural um, hair wearer so to speak so when I wear hair I want it to be full and like I could wear my own hair if I want to go natural um, I'm not bald headed so if I wanted the natural look why buy hair um, so it's just so thin um, and I don't like wearing thin hair but it looks good um, I mean I don't really have any cons about this I do like it I am now kind of on the bidding war of seeing where I should get a quality lace wig from. Um, I know there's RPG show. I've seen best lace wigs, April wigs. So right now I'm just trying to kind of see which one would be best for me and also in my uh, budget because I don't want to spend too much on it just in the event that I don't like it. However, I am trying to make that full transition into lace wig so that I can kind of protect my own hair. I've been wearing weaves for what seems like ever and while I love my weaves, I kind of want to not throw away all my hair behind wearing weaves. So under here, my hair is corn rolled. I braided it. I have the braids coming this way and then straight back to try and make it as flat as possible. Um, and right now it's very flat, but I kind of want some volume um, in the actual hair, so I kind of do that every now and then. But aside from that, this is a good unit. Um, I'm excited to buy my next wig. I'll probably continue to do a couple synthetic wigs just so that I can get in the habit of the on and off of a wig, the care of the wig, etc. before I make that full transition into a lace unit. So, so this is just a show and tell of 
my recently purchased wig. So like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching.